All right, and here's uh, one of the big ones here, a datum feature symbol. If you want to identify a certain feature as the datum feature, it's a little suction cup here with a flag coming off, and that is called off as datum feature A. And that's the, that's the symbol that we used in the uh, 2009 standard and the 1994 standard. Now, sometimes you see these older drawings in the 1982 standard and before, what they used to use, they used to use this symbol right here. It's a little box with some dashes on either side, and that's how they call them. They're identical symbols, just this is the update that they had from the 1994 standard. Yeah, and sometimes people say, well, why did you change that? And they say, well, because people started getting pretty good at the uh, first method. But that's not really the reason. You know, the real reason was is that uh, we're working with ISO and we're, uh, we're members of ISO, so we participate. And so it's a little give and take. You know, we change some of our symbols, they change some of ours, and we're all trying to work together to get some universal standards. Everybody can interpret the drawing no matter where you go. All right, that kind of completes some of the basic symbology on here, and we'll go through some more of these uh, geometric symbols a little bit later. Now, you know what that is right there? No, that uh, looks like a gray spot. No, what that really is, that's a cat whisker. Now, what I kind of had to do is kind of put these tolerances in perspective sometimes, because sometimes we're tolerancing things to four thousandths of an inch, two thousandths of an inch, one thousandth of an inch, a tenth of a millimeter. How small is that exactly? So trying to put in perspective, Basically, that's what a cat whisker is. A cat whisker, we got uh, my sister's cat out here, and uh, we measured his whisker, and we found out that whisker was about four thousandths of an inch. Now, four thousandths of an inch, what they say is, uh, that's my conversion, I look at it, and which is about equal to 0 0.1 millimeters. And that's kind of the conversion I do when we go back from metric to inch. Yeah, so a lot of places here, we're going to be talking about tolerancing, and we're going to talk five thousand, two thousand, and sometimes it's, it's almost like you're in Vegas and you're playing with all those chips. You forget that it's money. And the same thing here when you're talking about tolerances. These tolerances are really small. I don't know if you remember when you were small. I remember my mother always telling me you got to wash your hands because you got germs on your hands. You have bacteria, you know. And I'd look around and I couldn't see any bacteria. And that's really what tolerances are. Many times, you know, you pick up a part and you look at it, it looks nice and shiny, looks perfect, but the tolerance is so slight that you can't see this with your eyes, these imperfections. But when we come in with these very precise instruments and take measurements, we can detect these things and we can find them. So what we have done in our standards, or in our book here, all along is, is we tried to take the parts and we draw them imperfect. And in fact, many of our models are that way to give you the idea that these things are imperfect. And with the whole idea of the cat whisker, uh, you know, uh, you had to hold a cat down to get these measurements, but we can find out that uh, it gives you an idea of what these tolerances are. For example, I mean, just pick up your uh, page. I want you to think about it. How thick is the page in your workbook there? So this here is your cat whisker. When people talk about tolerancing to a thousandth of an inch, we're talking about quarters of cat whiskers here, some really small stuff here. And people talk about a ten thousandth of an inch. How small is that? Well, you think about it compared to a cat whisker, some really small things here. And, uh, you know, we're talking about microns or 40 millionths. I mean, compared to a cat whisker, this is some really small stuff here. So you have to put this in perspective. These are some really tight tolerances that we are talking about, something that you'd never be able to see with your eye. 